this video, what I want to start with, I'm going to put all the interior pieces back in the car because I'm not yet ready to assemble the interior. And the safest place for them is in the back of the car right now. Take everything out of this box that you saw me pick up. That is the S14KA wiring harness. And I'm going to see if I can maybe find the relay I'm looking for for the engine bay. I messaged a few people online looking for knuckles. It's actually kind of difficult to find knuckles. And I'm not sure that I'm ready to go with a full angle kit yet. The knuckles are pending. If we can at least find this relay, we'll be moving in the right direction. I was looking online and I found a forum where someone else had the same problem I'm having, which is no fuel and no spark. And they said, I believe that there's a relay that protects the ECU. He found that and it fixed his problem. I didn't even know such a thing existed. So I'm gonna try and, and figure out with the internet any other possible solution than that relay that I thought it was. I'm hoping that I'm wrong and that that's just actually an empty plug from the guy who did the swap before me. If I can at least get the engine starting, then I can start to put together maybe the interior, get some other things buttoned up. But that's what I'm doing right now. Try and get this thing starting. Maybe this will be helpful to someone. Here's the ECU right here. There is like a little knob right here. It says self-diagnosis mode select. What I did turn that into self-diagnosis mode. There's also a little red LED right here. When I turn the key, this red LED does nothing. According to this forum, I unplugged it and replugged it to make sure my connections were good. I think everything is plugged in. I believe there's no power to the ECU. Same problem the guy on the forum was having. I'm gonna see if I can find a relay or a fuse. Here's the dilemma I'm in. Obviously, this video is gonna be a shorter video. I have not yet figured out the solution to the problem that I'm having. And as far as these videos go, there's only so many times I can film the same thing without it just getting boring. I don't like putting out boring videos. From this point forward, I'm gonna start to look towards some of the other details with the car that I wanna do that are more interesting videos while off camera simultaneously fixing this issue. Once I fix this issue with the ECU and I can get the car to start, I will let you guys know and I'll tell you what I had to do but I'm not gonna keep filming the same stuff because it's boring so next video with this car you're gonna see a change in direction toward either building this motor or maybe doing the hatchery build that I wanted to do something that I can actually make progress on and then I'll let you guys know what the deal is with that hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you next week